Hello. Welcome, everybody. I see some faces. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's good to see you all. Welcome to Wiggle Wednesdays. <laughs> We're going to get started in just a couple minutes. If you're able to turn on your camera, that would be great because we want to see your smiling faces. And that way we can wiggle together as a 4-H community. So I love seeing all the smiles already. Welcome, welcome. We'll give it just a minute or two while you're waiting. If you want to just wiggle it out, move your body a little bit. We'll get ready. Yes, I see my colleague Catherine just sent a little chat. This is for the parents, the caregivers. We have a little survey afterwards that we'd love for you to take. So that way each week we can make sure we're providing quality content for your littles. And we'll get started in just a minute. <laughs> Okay. All right, 10 o'clock. Let's get started. Welcome everybody to Wiggle Wednesdays. I'm so, so happy to see all of you. If you are able to turn on your camera, please do so. We want to wiggle together, move together, have fun together. Um, wiggle Wednesdays is put on every week on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. presented by Ramsey County, Hennepin County, and Sherburne County. So thanks for being here today. I'm going to share my screen real quick. And we're going to go through just a couple slides here. And Again, Wiggle Wednesdays. Welcome, everybody. It's so great to have you here. Today, we are going to focus on one of the four H's on the clover. So there's four H's. There's head, heart, hands, and health. And today, we're focusing on our head. Can all of you touch your head? Yep. There you go. Nice. So remember the 4-H pledge, we say, I pledge my head to clearer thinking. So we're going to focus on our head and we're going to learn a little bit more about our brain. Did you know that the human brain weighs three pounds? Can everybody show me the number three? Three pounds. That's pretty heavy, right? Think about your brain and your head. It weighs three pounds. And there's a lot of ways you can keep your brain healthy. You can get a lot of sleep. You can spend time with your friends and family. You can read books. And you can move your body. I want to see everybody. Let's move our bodies. Ready? Move your body. Turn in a circle. Yes. So there's lots of ways you can keep your brain healthy. And did you know you can exercise your brain too? So today, we are going to play a little game. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And this is a game that's similar to Simon Says. So I want you to raise your hand. Have you played Simon Says before? Raise your hand if you have. Oh, I see a lot of hands raised. So I do a different way of playing. That's okay. I'm going to teach you how to play this game. It's called Do This, Do That. I don't like Simon that's okay, we're gonna have fun with it. So when you hear me say, do this, I want you to copy exactly what I'm doing, okay? So if I say do this, and I start to march, what are you gonna do? You're gonna start marching, yes! If I say do this, and I start moving my arms in circles, yes! If I say, 
I do this and I start patting my head. Good job. Now, if I say do that and I put my hands on my hips, you're gonna keep patting your head. Okay, so you're only gonna copy me when I say do this. All right, let's do a practice round. Ready, do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do that. Okay, yep, you should still be spinning in a circle. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do another round and I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Ready? So remember, when I say do this, you copy me. And when I say do that, you just keep doing what you were doing. I don't think I can go that fast. I think you can do it. I know you can do it. Ready? Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do that. Oh, good job. You're doing great. Okay, one more round. One more round. Ready? We're going to go as fast as we can this time. Ready? Do this. 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 Do that. Yay! Good job! You guys looked great! Maybe let's do one more. I think we can do one more. What do you think? Thumbs up? No. You can do it! You can do it! Are your heart rates up a little bit? We're gonna go even faster this time, or we're gonna try. We'll try, right? Okay, ready? Do that. Oh! Sorry, I had to trick you right there. Remember, do this, you follow me, and do that, you just keep doing what you're doing. Ready? Do this. 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 Do that. Oh, good job. You guys did great. Okay, so now that we did a lot of listening and we did a lot of thinking with our brains and our minds, we're gonna cool down just a little bit. I don't think I can exercise anymore. What's that? I can't exercise anymore. You can't exercise anymore. Well, let's, I agree. It's let's too calm tiring. down, let's calm our bodies, let's calm our minds. We're gonna do a couple I do a different of different free. poses. So this first one, I don't know if you can see, but this is a washing machine, okay? So together, we're gonna slowly 
put our hands on our hips and swish back and forth. We're gonna roll around in circles just like a washer might with a bunch of clothes in it. And we're gonna Whatever go you're doing, I can't do. Okay, I'll move forward a little. Can you see me now? Hands on your hips. We're moving back and forth and in circles. Good job, just like a washer might with a bunch of clothes. And next up. I have a cat. <laughs> we have an eagle. Can everybody see the eagle? So with our eagle pose, we're gonna take one leg. I know you can't really see my legs very well, but one leg and cross it over the other. And we're gonna try to balance on one foot with our arms out, just like an eagle might be soaring through the sky. And you can kind of sway your arms a little and you're gonna try to keep your balance. Yep, and maybe your arms are going up and down like you're flying through the air. Great job, you guys look wonderful. Strong eagles. I don't think I can do any because the chair's on my foot. The chair's on your foot. You got it. Okay, next one, we have a little dancer here. So we're gonna do a dancing pose. This is another balancing pose. So we're gonna take one of our feet, either your right foot or your left foot, and you're gonna grab it, and you're gonna lift it up behind you and try to balance with one arm out. This one's kind of tricky. You don't have to hold your foot up very high, but you're gonna balance just like a dancer. And then we're gonna bring both of our arms up and we're gonna twirl in a circle on our tippy toes, just like a dancer might. Nice job, everybody. And then we've got one more pose, and I bet a lot of you have heard of this one. This is our tree. We are gonna do tree pose. So you can stand with I don't know both this. your feet planted on the ground, or you can lift one up, see mine right here? You can lift it up and you can try to balance with your arms out like branches. Yeah, and maybe you're gently swaying in the breeze. Maybe your fingers are going like this, like leaves on the tree. And you're just swaying back and forth. You're taking a lot of deep breaths. Awesome job. And I want everybody to come as close as they can. We're gonna take a big deep breath together. So everybody breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time, I know I can't hear all of you, but we're taking a big deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. I hope all of you are feeling relaxed, feeling like you moved your bodies really well. Thank you so much for coming to Wiggle Wednesdays. It was so awesome to see all of you. Please join us next week because my colleague Catherine, she's waving from Hennepin County. She's going to do a session focused on our hearts. So we're going to think about a different H on the clover. So thank you everybody for coming.